Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn about fixtures in Cypress. So fixtures are basically used to load the test data into your Cypress test cases. When you create any automation framework, it is best practice to separate your test data and your test cases. So for that, you can create your separate test data files. And in Cypress, by default, we have a folder which is fixtures. So whenever you install Cypress, it comes with a directory fixtures. I'll show you. So when you install, you can see this fixtures folder. So it comes by default in Cypress and inside that you can add your test data. So whatever test data you will add inside the fixtures, you can import it directly using a command cy.fixtures in your code. Okay. So uh, what we'll do, we will see one demo website and we'll see the scenario and we will automate it. So this is my demo website. So this is a demo website by Lambda test and we will automate the scenario where we will enter our email address and password and then we'll click on the login button. So what I'll do, I will first of all inspect the locator for this email address. So this email address is basically the locator is this one. So this is my input tag and inside that I'm using the attribute name email. Let me go back to the code. I have already created a basic template. So in which I have added my cy.visit command and now I will add locators for this. So using cy.get, I will use cy.get and inside that I will pass my locator value. So it was input and inside that this is my tag name. And in the input, we have to pass the value. We have to pass the text over there. So using the type command, I can pass the value, right? So this is my login page. So what I will do, I will pass the text over here. So this is my text. This is my email address, which I will pass. Next one is the password. So we will find locator for the password. Let me inspect the password over here. And this is the name is password. I will use cy.get and inside that this is my input tag and I will pass my locator and this is again a password field so I will add my enter my password because I have already created a username my test account on this platform so I know my credentials so I'm adding the credentials over here so this is my cypress one two three this is my credential. Next step is clicking on the submit button. So let's find the locator for submit button. So this is my submit button. What I can do? Let me let me check if uh, the locator is correct. So this is the class value, and we can see. Okay, so I can see there are multiple matches. Let's find some other unique locator for this one. So we also have type submit. Let's see for this one. So input type submit. Okay, so I can see for uh, this one. Yeah, we only have one match for this one. Type submit. So I can use this one. So I will use this locator cy.get and then we'll do dot click. So this is a simple test case where I'm just trying to log in into a website and uh, entering my username password and just clicking on the submit button right so now first first cases we will enter our username password in our test code and click on the submit button in the next scenario we will see how we can use a fixture file to enter the test data right so let's run our test case and see let me run it and let's see so it will load the website now and we can see the username password it is getting entered we can see and it got submitted fine so this was when we have fixed data in our test file next thing is we want to enter the data from fixture file so what i will do i will create one test data so one json file go to a fixture file over there create a new file and let me name it as login.json so i'm creating in json format and it will be in the key value format so when you create a json object it should be key value format so let's say i want to pass email i'm passing my email and the password over here so whatever values you have passed in your test file 
you can pass it in your test data file instead of passing in the test case directly we can pass it in our test file so this is a good approach whenever you will create a framework also because maybe this data you want to use it in multiple test cases so instead of writing it hard coding it in your uh, in your test file you can you can use it from the test data file right and it is also used if you want to use it multiple times in multiple location or let's say in future if it gets changed so that time also if you have used it in multiple test file so you have to update every test file right but if you are using test data if you're using let's say you're using login.js and such kind of test data so you just have to update in a single file so this is also advantage of using test data okay and my password was cypress one two three exclamation right so this is i have created a json file this is my test data where i have entered email and password next step is to use the fixture file in our code so how uh, we can use it in cypress by default it comes uh, we have a command which is cy.fixture so it is used to load the data from the fixtures folder okay so over here you have to pass the name of the file so our file name is login.json i can pass either the full name or you can pass login also it will search for a file with this name so currently we have only one login file so we can pass login so this will return you the data from the json file but now we want to use this data so we will create uh, a promise we will create dot then and inside that we'll create a callback function because we want to use this data now we have got the data from fixture file now we want to use the data so how how will you pass it so inside that what i will do i will just cut my these two lines of code and paste over here and in my type command what i will do i will use this value okay so this value is basically fetching your fetching your json login.json and inside the json we have the key which is email so i will pass over here email so value.email will actually return me this value okay so you have to make sure your your key is correct otherwise you will get an error if your key is incorrect so make sure your key is correct next thing is so for our password also we created a key over there right so i'm using value dot password because my key name in the in login dot json is password so now i am fetching email and password from my test data file which is inside the fixtures folder okay so let's run the test case and see if it is uh, fetching value or not so let me rerun it so now you see it is again fetching the value and my test case is getting passed it is printing also so this lambda test it is printing over here the data which we are passing from the fixtures file okay so this is how you can load the data from your fixture file so this was a scenario when you have maybe single it block but uh, let's say you have multiple test cases and you want to pass the test data in your multiple test cases in a single describe so there is one more way how we can handle this so instead of writing over here cy dot fixtures because in other it block also you have to write the same code so in order to avoid that we can add the code in our before each right so in before each we can add the code and then we can reuse in our it blocks so i will remove from here i will remove from here and i have moved it in the before block so this value let's say i want to assign so now i will assign it to a variable so i can use it in my uh, test files so i'm assigning it to a variable so this variable i will define outside so outside my before i will write let data so now my value will be assigned to data and over here i can write data dot email and data dot password earlier we were using the uh, this parameter because we it was inside the callback function but now it is outside it we need to assign it to a variable so that we can use it in our whole test case right so if you have multiple it blocks you can use it directly using like uh, you can use it directly data dot that key name and it will work so let's see this case and uh, let's run our test case 
So again, we can see it is getting printed. It is fetching the value, correct value from our file and it is getting executed. Okay. So this was one of the way how to fetch the data from your uh, test data file. There are two other ways also. So let's say if you, if you know the path, so in that case, what you have to do, you just have to enter import name and the path of your file. So the path of my file is basically it's inside the fixtures, right? So just add, I will just go to that path. So this is my folder and inside that I want to access login.json and this data I can just name, rename it because we have already used data. So I will rename it as let's say test data. So now in my code, I will use now in my code, instead of data, I will use test data and we'll access it. Let's run the scenario and see if it, it is working fine or not. So this scenario is also working fine. It is actually fetching your data from the fixture file and it is printing the same value, right? Other one is we can also do one more way. So we can actually create a variable constant variable. Let's say test test value. Okay. And we can write require using require. You can pass the path again. So I will pass the path of my test data file and this test data value you can use in your, in your type command, right? And let's run for this case and see. So this is also working fine. So we saw three different phase using cy dot fixture. You can fetch the value, right? Using import, you can import your uh, file path and you can directly use this variable, right? The other one is again, creating constant variable and assigning the data to this one and, and fetching the value like this. So th these are the three ways to access the test data file in Cypress. Okay. Apart from this, this was a login scenario where we had only one, one email and one password. Let's say, uh, there can be cases where you have multiple data and maybe the JSON object is, it's little complex. So for example, there's a demo website, which is this open card by Navin Automation Labs. So this is a registration form and we have first name, last name, a lot of fields to enter over here. So in these fields, let's say we create multiple objects by multiple objects, what I mean. So, uh, let's go to the fixture. I have already created one sample object for you. So let's say this is our test data file in which we have multiple objects. So that means inside the, uh, so this JSON contains name object and it contains login object. So we have two objects and then the directly value also email and phone number. Okay. So in these cases, how will we access it? Because earlier we were accessing it directly. We, we didn't have the multiple objects inside it, but now we have multiple objects. How will we use it? So let's, see the test scenario for this one. So I've already created a sample template for you guys. So I can show you directly. So this is my test case. Okay. So this is my registration form test case where I am entering my all the locators and passing the value one by one. So first we will see how it is working with the with this manual data. Like if we pass the data manually in our test uh, test file, how it works. And next scenario, we'll check using the fixtures. So let's run this test case and see. So I will uh, run this test case. So now it will load and it will run all your values, whatever we passed in our test file, right? We can see it got passed. So next thing is if we pass the data from the fixture file. So all this test data we will pass from the fixture file. So I already have created one JSON like I showed you. So this is my register.json. And what I will do, so like I mentioned, this is not an, not an easy one. So we have multiple objects over here. So in order to access it, what we will do? First of all, we will use cy.fixtures. So let me enter over here, cy.fixtures. And the name of the file. So this is register.json. So it is a register. And we can access it inside this and create a callback function, right? I will pass the name as data and we can access it inside this one. So whatever data we are passing over it, let me just cut it 
and I will pass it inside the callback function so I can access the variable, access the value from here, from the register because it will load your JSON, right? So this is the data. This is my value. So the first value is first name. So first name is basically in register.json we have one more object inside the main object. We have one more object which is name and inside that we have the first name. So what I will do, I will write data then the name of the object which is name and then dot name of the key which is first name. So again just, just try to understand this is very easy. So first of all you are trying to access the fixtures. We are trying to access the fixtures inside that we have one more object. So using dot, we are trying to access the object and then we have to access the key name. So again, using dot, we are accessing the key name. Okay. So this is how we access our first name from this fixture file from the data, right? Next thing is we have to access the. So next thing is we have to access the last name. So for last name also, I will use the same thing. It is again inside the name object. So instead of first, my key name is last. So data, your object name and inside that your key name, which is last name. Okay. Next one is your email. So where is your email? Email is at your root level. So we will use directly value email. We will not use a dot name or uh, like this. We will use it directly. So data dot email. So let me enter data dot email right so this is how you pass your email next one is your phone so phone key i have passed like this it is also at the root level so we will use data dot your phone okay our next thing is our password so where we have defined our password so password is basically inside other object which is login object so inside login object we have a key which is password so how will we access it we will write data dot the object name which is basically your uh, login right our our object name is login over here and inside that we have key which is password so login dot password right for confirm password also we are entering the same password so i will just copy over here the same thing okay so don't don't get confused i will explain you one more time what we are doing so this is our json file in which we have multiple objects some are at the root level some for some of the cases we have multiple objects right in which you you have a name object you have login object and maybe in your test case you will have objects like let's say address object where where you are entering all the information on the checkout page you are entering all your billing address or uh, shipping address and passing some other information so you can have multiple objects inside this one okay so in order to access what we do we first of all use cy.fixture and then we pass the key name with your object name. So this is my name, right? And inside that we pass the key name. Okay, so this is how you access your data from fixture when you have multiple objects. You have to use dot. So using dot you have to, you can access multiple objects, right? So let's run our test case and see. Okay, before, so this is a fixture. So this was a typo. So let's uh, run this test case and see if it is working fine or not. So this is my test case and let's see. So this time also you can see all my test data. It is getting fetched from the JSON file. And if you want to verify, so you see the email address, it's Cypress AB1. We can check the email address passed in our JSON file. So this is my email address and it is picking the correct value. So guys, this is how you can access your data when you have multiple objects. Right. This is one of the important topics when you work in a project, let's say you're working on a checkout page and over there you can have multiple objects for the card information, for uh, for verifying text also. If you want to verify text, let's say I'm verifying should have text. So this text also I, I can pass in my registration form in the, in the JSON file. Okay, so these kind of scenarios you can have in your project and you should uh, know how you can, how to use the fixture file, how you can pass the data in, in your test, create a test data file and use it in your Cypress test case. I hope you understand the concept and thanks for watching guys. Thank you.